Howdy, guys. Howdy. <laughs> So I have a problem and I'm going to work on it and it's going to be hard. This is my desk. I don't know if I showed you guys my desk yet or not, but there's my shelf that I've been waiting to get put up for a couple weeks now by Trevon. Here's my doggy bed. I just took his outfit off so he's itchy. It's not comfy, is it? But he has to keep it on so his diaper doesn't come off so there's no accidents. I had to get another bed and put it here next to my desk for my babies because I don't like to be away from mommy. This is the front room. This is where I went to my desk. I did not want it in my room because I don't like being cooped up in my room alone while everything's going on around me out in the house. So this is where I like it. I have mom's wedding picture up there and I have my computer here and I have my, this is a fake roach. The kids keep tricking me with that. My snake is in there. Here's my problem that I'm having today. I'm off schedule of my sleeping schedule and I don't know about you guys but I know for me if I'm not on a schedule then I feel like how do I describe it I lose I lose being tired at night I can't wake up by myself in the morning I don't want to get up early I can't really describe it but all I know is for me I need to go to bed at a regular time and get up at a regular time for a while so I've been staying up to like one and two at night and I don't feel tired at all, even at two in the morning at all. And then I, you know, get up at, like I wake up at 10 and I'm like, no, I don't want to get up. So I go back to bed. I don't even care if it's 12. <laughs> Look, eight tips for waking up early, conquering the alarm clock. I don't know if you can see my computer screen. So I'll just turn the camera on me. Uh, for years, I wanted to wake up early. It seems, oops, that's an ad. Uh, no, thanks. Back to the issue at hand. <laughs> I see almost all successful people get up for, oh, I can't even read. For years I wanted to wake up early. It seems almost all successful people get going before sunrise. That's actually true. And I wanted to be one of them. But when my morning alarm would go off, all the good intentions in the world couldn't pull me out of bed. See, that's what I'm feeling like lately and I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. That's how you know that you should do something, not, okay. Like when it comes to you know losing weight or getting up early or whatever it is, or working out, yeah, you should do it, but um, if, if you don't, how do I explain this? I don't even remember what I was going <laughs> to, what point I was going to get to, okay? So let's continue on. I just know that I personally want to do this for myself because I like the way it makes me feel, okay? And I don't like the way this current schedule is making me feel. So basically, I think that's what I was trying to get to. I don't want to change this because I should. I want to change it because it will make me happier and that's why you should do stuff. <laughs> okay, I understood the benefits of waking up early. Well, I don't really know what the benefits are exactly, so let's see. I made plans to wake up early and write just like the recent challenge in the 15 Habit Series. Well, I don't know what this is because I just clicked on the website, but that discipline was gone in the morning. So here's what I did. I would like to get up early in the morning and play my video game called Elder Scrolls Online. That's what I would like to do. Because at nighttime, first of all, I don't have much time to play at all. I haven't even logged in in a couple days. But at nighttime, everybody's on line. Everybody. That's like the busiest time. But if I go on at six in the morning, no one is there. And you can like pick flowers and stuff. And at six in the morning, no one's picking flowers. And you can pick all the good stuff, okay? So I want to get up at six before anyone else wakes up so I don't feel guilty for sitting there and playing my game for an hour. So that's what I want to do it. Why do you guys want to do it? He wants to do it. I don't know why. The groggy person hitting the snooze button wasn't the same clear thinking person that had set the alarm the night before. True. I'm like, I'm getting up. I'm going to set my alarm. It goes off. I'm like, I can't wait to get up and play my game for an hour when I wake up in the morning. And the alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, it feels so good in bed. I just, who cares about playing the game? And then I go back to bed. So I know what he's talking about. When I realized waking up early is a battle fought on two fronts, everything changed. We must prepare our bodies, but we must also trick our sleepy minds. I'm interested in this. And this is why you guys are going to help me. And if you want to do this too, do it with me. How, here are the eight tips to help you win the fight and wake up early. Number one, you have to take the first steps. The toughest part of the morning is simply getting out of bed. That is true. Even Minara, like on a cruise or something, when she has to get up early, like five or six in the morning, and all night you're like, oh God, I have to get up early. Ugh, I'm only going to get six hours of sleep. I have to get up early. There's just something about knowing your alarm is set and you have to get up early, am I right? Getting out of bed is the hard part because usually even if you're tired, once you're out of bed, you feel fine. 
An alarm across the room is an old trick, but I don't want to wake up my wife in the process. So I have my iPhone next to my bed with a soft alarm that I can turn off quickly. Yeah, I do have a soft alarm, something pleasant. I don't want to be woken up like the end of the world is happening. You know what I'm saying? I've never looked at this website before in my life, I promise you. To keep myself from falling back asleep in the morning, brain fog, I have another alarm across the room set for a few minutes later. I thought you didn't want to wake up your wife. Hmm. Well, anyway, I kind of do the same thing with my kids and me sometimes. I'm like, set your alarm for 8 and then set it for 8.10 and then set it for 8.20. So if you put one to sleep, the other one's going to go off. It's extremely loud and will jolt my wife awake if I don't walk across the room and turn it off first. Even my foggy mind understands that and the fear of a startled and cranky wife drives me to take those first few steps out of bed. Okay. Well, I just got to make myself get out of bed. Cultivate a mental environment. Here are a few ideas to wake your brain up and keep it alert. Listen to podcasts related to waking up early. Well, you can watch this video. Read about people who were early risers. Remind yourself about the importance of writing every day. Well, like I said, I don't know what page this is. I just clicked on, but obviously it's about writing. Okay, remind yourself about the importance of playing Elder Scrolls online every day. That's what I'm gonna do. It's important to me. I need to play an hour a day. That's my goal, okay? Fill in the cracks of your day with, an, with inspiration on how and why to wake up early. <laughs> okay. You can rationalize a lot when your alarm goes off. It's true, man. I, I go through some stuff when my alarm goes off. <laughs> some detailed stuff of how, okay, well, I need an hour and 50 minutes to do this, and i got to be here here. It's going to take me this long to get the ready and this long to get the kids ready and this long to drive there. But if I shave off 10 minutes, will that work? Let me see. If I shave off 10 minutes, blah, blah, blah. If I shave off... I do this stuff in my head when I'm asleep. I don't even know how I go back to sleep when I'm done. And it's almost always wrong. I'm always late. But if you've immersed yourself in this environment, even your hazy morning mind will feel compelled to wake up. Three, develop a get to attitude. Get excited about your day and you'll jump out of bed. Well, see, that's what I usually do when I wake up on my own in the morning. I jump out of bed, I'm like, yes. Now I'm just like, ugh, it's time to wake up, oh nice. Uh. Don't drive yourself with guilt about why you have to wake up early. Make waking up early something you get to do. Yeah, it's nice, that's why I wanna do it. It really does feel nice to wake up early. Of course, the joy of creating can drive you, but don't be afraid to motivate yourself by doing something fun in the morning, like playing Elder Scrolls Online. Play some games or indulge in some leisure reading. Nope, I'll play games, I'll read at night. Better yet, think of the benefits that others will receive from your work. There's no benefit anyone's gonna get for me playing games in the morning, but I will make me happy. Number four, create some accountability. Recruit a friend to hold your feet to the fire. That's you guys. You can, all, you can have weekly meetings or even call or text each other when you wake up. <laughs> Yo, I'm up, dude, are you? Come on, get out of bed. No, I just need a few days of doing this and I will be on my schedule. I don't know, it might take some people a longer time, but see, that's why I'm gonna turn on the camera in the mornings the next few days and I'm gonna tell you when I'm waking up and I'm gonna tell you today when I'm setting my alarm tomorrow. So you're going to see when I get up and if I'm bad, like, I guess it's like the wife thing. Okay, I don't have to worry about waking someone up in my room, but if I'm late, I'm gonna have to come on here tomorrow morning and be like, oops, I was late and I don't wanna do that. So you guys are helping me. The, there's great online groups, okay, and he lists some, and I don't even know. It's go, Goins, G-O-I-N-S-W-R-I-T-E-R dot com slash wake up early, if you're interested. Sleep well. The struggle isn't all mental. There's a strong physical component and the amount as well as the quality of sleep you get is the most important factor. I sleep well. I fall asleep as soon as I basically hit the pillow and get into my position on my side, but I do have a lot of stressful dreams. So sometimes I feel like I didn't rest, if that makes sense. I, I dream about cruising all the time. I'm not even gonna lie. I literally dream about cruising almost every single night. I'm on a cruise somewhere. And since the group cruise, I literally dream about a group cruise, like being on a cruise with people all the time. I think there's something wrong with me. Although it's obvious, make sure you go to bed at a reasonable time if you want to wake up early. Also pay attention to your diet and exercise. Well, we're gonna be working on that in another video. General physical fitness greatly impacts your sleep habits, energy levels. Now, here's the thing. I could be at a park and walk eight miles and get home at one in the morning and like think oh, I, should, I should conk out. But I don't because I'm so worked up in my mind that I can't fall asleep. It's weird. Never snooze. True, I tell the kids never hit the snooze button, ever. Hitting your alarm snooze button doesn't give you more restful REM sleep. Your body and mind aren't recuperating, you're just wasting time, that's true. Personally, I noticed that regularly hitting the snooze made my thinking even cloudier when the alarm went off. Your mind starts to ignore the alarm bells. Hey, I gotta get Zara. So this is the thing about the snooze button. I don't use it, but if I am going to sleep in, AKA normally someone would use a snooze button, I actually just reset my alarm 15 minutes later. So I actually do get 15 minutes of good sleep. Be quiet.
Zara, no barking. No. Come on. Oh my God. Can you guys see her? Uh, they put eyebrows on her last night. You got little eyebrows so that she looks like Minara. You got eyebrows still. You're a good girl. Come see. Some, come sit with Gam Gams. Come on. Come on. Come, come with Gam Gams. Okay, stick to your wake time. Wake up at the same time every day. Your body becomes conditioned to this and regulate your sleep patterns. It's true. You get more of that precious REM sleep and when you have a regular wake time, your body actually begins the process of waking up long before your alarm sounds. It's true. After a few days, I swear if my alarm's set for six, I'll start waking up before it goes off. That's what I'm talking about. I want to be tired at night and I want to get up on my own in the morning. Build momentum. After you wake up early, the challenge is to stay up. Maybe you'll love to relax and sip your coffee. I'm gonna have some tea. But for me, getting too comfortable is dangerous. I used to start my mornings by reading the Bible and praying. It was a fight to keep my eyes open. Now the first thing I do is exercise. My heart gets racing and afterwards I can give what matters most of my focus. Attention, move through your routine quickly. So have your coffee ready, set out your exercise clothes, keep a vigorous pace. And when I depend on discipline and willpower alone, I had limited success waking up. No, but I'm mastering my mornings now. I'll do a few simple tricks. Well, this was interesting, and I agree with a lot of these things that they said. And I'm going to set my alarm for, I want to say six, but I'm like seven. Let me think a minute. I can't think of what time to get up. I mean, I want to say six because I want to be drastic and just do it. And I feel the more drastic you are, just like with losing weight at first, the more better it's going to be. So I'm going to say six. And I'm telling you this, so I have to get up at six now. If I'm not up at six tomorrow, you guys will know, and I'll show you the time so you know it's real. I'm gonna get the kids up at eight. It'll give me two hours of free time all to myself, which is, I have truly found for myself that having those quiet hours in the morning is so relaxing. And unlike the, well, like the guy online who says that he likes to get up and do exercise in the morning, no. I feel that if I get up and relax first thing, because I'm very, very busy all day long, that it helps me have a more better day entirely, especially with stress and everything. So, six o'clock for me, eight o'clock for the kids. I'll see you in the morning.